It was early morning, everybody. All right. We were going to investigate that corpse. That's where we left off yesterday. Uh, do I have anything I can transfer? I could put some ammo in there. Um, how do you split stacks? Ah, here we go. I could put like a hundred ammo in. Give back a little. I took a few things yesterday. I don't want to be that guy who takes but never gives. Rather not be a douche. I think we're going this way, right? Yep. Yep. Gotta get used to vats here. It's a little different because I'm playing so much Fallout 4 right now. I gotta say though, this plays so much better than Fallout 4 in terms of like mobility. Um, I like the way this plays. It feels very good. You know, I should probably just spec all the way into pistols. Because I don't mind this gun. This is a cool little gun. And I got tons of ammo for it. Man, those... The bug sounds are great. I think we're good, actually. Ruben's safe key. Checklist. Shelter building supplies. Distract him. Slash our supplies. Jump in the other crate. Pray to God to survive. Find ammo from 76. Kill Zax. More materials to keep building the shelter. Wood, steel, screws, gears, copper. An antler? Why not? A couple of screwdrivers. Bobby pins. We good? I don't think there's anything else out here. Just checking to be safe. Alright, where's the next waypoint? Holy shit, that's way up there. Um, <laughs> that's a long way away. All right. What do we got up here? Something called Speak to Lane? What's this? 
Quest description. Help the responders keep the peace in the forest. Journal. It seems some people have moved into the lumber mill. <clears throat> mill, no vault 76. I should find their leader and figure out what's going on. Speak to Lane. Toggle active. Make only this active. Let's go check it out. Here ye, scavenger. Is that robot going to try to kill me? Trees are the enemy must eliminate. Trees. Protect and serve additional wood. Samples are <laughs> available at this time. Okay, buddy. What is this? I guess it's just decoration. Take a look around. There's definitely footsteps right there. Just to escape for a while. <laughs> Alright, we're good. This is not a bad place. We'll get the quest here in a second. I don't think there's anything else out here. Alright, the person we are supposed to talk to is over in this other building. Weren't we supposed to get a Blue Ridge caravan route set up this way? Hacksaw, lead pipe, screwdriver. So I'm taking all the stuff, man. Shopping basket. Uh, that feels a little big. Duct tape. Yes. Pack of smokes. You know, I haven't had one in a while. Why not? I wish that brotherhood would share what they've learned with the rest of us. It's fusion core is basically basically so toast. What does it say? Remove high level power armor pieces to use. Oh, so you have to have different pieces. Lower level pieces. Gotcha. Lumberjack Protectron creates desirable wood. Product, but oh, you can scrap all junk? Product. Hell yeah, man. Find gunpowder to craft bullets. Once you have gunpowder, you can craft it from the chemistry station. Okay. Okay. Primary energy ammo, explosive ammo, oh, gifts, quest items. Products. Tinkers work with.
nice little setup yes, they've got here. Somewhere. Or are we out already? Trees plus lumberjack protectron equals desirable wood product. Excuse me, guys, while I rob you blind before I talk to you. Oh, I have a stash box here? Hell yeah. Alright. Lane, plat, or place? Probably plat. Hello there, stranger. Where did you come ambling in from? Yeah, I'm going to do a news piece on that today, Shoka does. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. I think it's a really funny thing. Bethesda has had really high peaks and they've had really low lows. And even their low lows, people like me still love their games. But what's happening is people have forgotten that they make really good games. Um, it's just that they have, I would call them Bethesda quirks. And, and for some people, they can't handle the quirks. Uh, and, and so they have they like to rant and rave about things. But I think at the core of it, people have just forgotten that Bethesda makes really good games. And for some reason, I don't know why Starfield received so much vitriol. Because I really enjoyed Starfield. I don't fucking get it to this day. I do not understand the hate. Uh, Starfield was the first game I had to... Um, I literally switched... At the time, I was only streaming on YouTube, and right now I'm multi-streaming, and then I'm doing some streams in the mornings on Twitch, like right now. It got so bad that I had to turn my streams to um, paying members only while I was streaming Starfield, because if I didn't, even if I had it on follower mode where you had to follow for 20 minutes, people would lurk for the 20 minutes necessary, and then they would just start coming in chat and just ranting and raving and yelling and crying and bitching and moaning about all these stupid things that had nothing to do with the game and i'm like i don't want to hear about your you know hard on for bethesda i just want to play a good game um and so i shut all that out and i had a great time with starfield but it had you know the quirks of a bethesda game um and in the case of Fallout 76, they've had enough time to get all the quirks out. Uh, so it's a much more polished experience than it was at launch. And Fallout 4 still has quirks, but, you know, it's getting a, a new update, ultra-wide monitor support. I mean, they're adding a, an Enclave quest in there. So they're even actively working on that to tie that back to the show. So it's a, it's a brilliant time to be a Fallout fan. And it's also, the I think, one of the first times that Microsoft can look at one of their purchases and say, you know, we're, we've got a home run here. Like, they've had hits. They've had hits, you know. But they haven't, I don't know that they've had too many home runs like they're getting with, with Fallout right now in the terms of, you know, Bethesda was not a, that was not a tiny purchase. That was a big purchase. And then, you know, having just done the EA thing, or uh, not EA, but Activision, Blizzard, Sorry, I don't know why I say DA. Activision Blizzard. Um, you know, something I was going to make a video on, too. Um, I have never actually looked. So every time I load the... the um, what is it called? I'm, hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shrink this window down for a second. Because i got to look at something. Um, the Battle.net app. I don't know why I was blanking on that. So the Battle.net app, right? That you, that you load up for World of Warcraft... I've only ever used that for World of Warcraft. Um, I played Diablo on consoles, um, and I have for you know, Diablo 3, Diablo 4. Diablo 3 I played on PS4. Um, Diablo 4 I played on my Series X. Um, and um, I actually took the time yesterday or the day before, and I went into the like all the games that are available on, on the Blizz app, and I was like, on the Battle.net app, and I was like, oh shit, there's like a whole bunch of games in here and i had kind of spaced out you know that it's all part of the the big you know the bigger picture now and they're you know they've added diablo to game pass and all this other stuff there's a lot of games in there like i didn't realize that i've never really paid attention you know i've always just came for world of warcraft um so yeah uh but in the case of fallout 76 um the game's been out for 
I don't even know. Five years? Five, six years? Something like that? Um, it's been out for a while. I know in the beginning it had um, no, no NPCs, and that was, hard for, that was a hard sell for a lot of people. I, I would not have enjoyed it at launch. I didn't play it at launch. Um, and I can tell you right now, I would not have enjoyed it um, because I, I like NPCs. Um, in Shrouded, I, I get away with it because I'm playing with friends. So my, I get the interaction that I'm seeking with the people I'm playing with. But if I'm playing a single-player RPG, I need there to be NPCs like this to interact with because um, I want I want to have an RPG experience. So once they added NPCs to Fallout 76, for me, when I went and played it for the first time, I don't remember when that was. It was it was interesting, and then when I played it with the Duros, it was a lot more fun. And I gotta say, coming back now, being kind of like I'm I'm high on Fallout, like everyone else is right now. <laughs> so it's like knowing that I'm under the influence of the Fallout franchise. It's been it's been very interesting to go back and play Fallout Four and Fallout seventy six, and be able to be like, oh, this is really really fun. Like this is this is really really good, and I think that you'll see all the people who are watching the show right now, who are coming back to these games, is because I think they're finally remembering. Oh yeah, Bethesda, yeah, those were fun games. Maybe Bethesda, yeah, Bethesda, yeah, they're not bad. Like maybe you know, and the nostalgia gets them, you know. And I, I think that I always tell people if you can embrace your inner child, you'll enjoy everything you do. Um, it it made some people irritated when I was watching Willow. Um, that was the first time in my entire YouTube. Um, so at the time, I think I was averaging like, um, when was that? The end of, I would have to go back and look again. I think I was averaging like 800 a month or something at the time. I, I can't really remember. But I remember the month that I reviewed Willow when it was airing on Disney Plus. I was having a great time with that show. Like it was genuinely for me, it was genuinely fun. And people that was the first time I went from like 800 followers in a month to like 200. I had like 600 people like unfollow because they could not handle the fact that I was enjoying Willow. Um and it made me laugh because it was like it was the first time I had ever seen people who could not embrace their inner child. Um, and then when Starfield happened and I saw the the vitriol coming in the comments, I was just like, oh, wow, some people just can't handle other people having fun um, with something that they don't have fun with. It's it's a it's a frustrating part of being a content creator and a streamer you know it's just one of those everybody has things they deal with at work right that's one of the things that i deal with at work and i'll readily admit that it's it's you know that's, that can you know it's like come on just it's a video game stop injecting politics into it stop injecting you know all of these things into it and just play the game man there's lots of good games out there like fallout 76 well, really good game rant over time. solved a lot of problems and caused a lot of problems from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. I do solve problems. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. All right. Shokin says, I think the last time I played it, there weren't NPCs. Yeah. Wow. Really cool to see people speculate in the state of characters in the show. Oh, the stats of the characters. I saw, like, a headline last night. I didn't read it, but somebody had speculated the stats of Lucy and what level she was and everything else, and I was just like, well, that's kind of fun. What's up, Kirok? I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods, more than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves, and all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. 
What do you think? Hell yeah. Why, that is just terrific. Thank you a thousand times over. What do I have for you today? We aren't the only ones moving into the forest. We got some new neighbors, and I would like to keep on their good side. We have some supplies, bandages, a little food, that you can whip up into a little care package for them. Do that for me, and you'll earn your reward. All right. Thank you. See that it's delivered safely. Gather find care package that materials. Care package at our little abode here. Ooh, I needed aluminum for uh, something I was trying to craft the other day. Was it in this game or was it in Fallout 4? I'm not. I'm not gonna remember. Addy. Dear sister, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope it finds you at all. If not, then it's good therapy, I suppose. Though small comfort. I have many regrets about how we parted, but I hope you and father will forgive me for my arrogance. I believed wholeheartedly that fighting those bandits was the right course of action. I saw you bones, cowards, and willing to stand up for yourselves. Disastrous outlook. I should have joined you on that caravan when I had the chance Instead, I lost my family and nearly lost my life. I've settled in well with the group here in Appalachia that call themselves the Responders. They're good people and they want to build a peaceful world like how home used to be. I believe in their mission, and though it will be a long road, I think we will at least be able to carve out a little niche of civilization for ourselves. Because I regrettably, have some combat experience. They're calling me a constable. They're asking me to keep the peace. God, his punctuation is horrible. <laughs> I emphasize of the mission, but I'm not a fan of the title. It's not who I am anymore. I didn't want to protest. They've been so good to me. I hope that one day you and father will return from wherever that caravan is taking you, and I can show you the home we're building here. You don't have to stay, but maybe we'll convince you that your brother's not such a bastard after all. If that's too much to ask, then I apologize. Wish you the best regardless, Lane. So he's trying to make up for past... Alright. Fair enough, bro. Everybody's got uh, their own cross to bear when it comes to family. Protextron cuts down trees, but does not require punch or lavatory facilities. Hang on. I'm exhausted. But the word never Bandages. There it is. There's one more thing. Oh, I gotta craft something. Craft a responder's care package. Quest items. Build. Make. Alright, deliver the care package. How much of a journey are we going on? Oh, that's not too bad. We're locked and loaded and ready to go. Cross the wasteland, baby. Well, technically this is the Appalachians. It's not no. wasteland. <laughs> that's that's it though, though. No, we're all high on Fallout right now. I just need, need some more of that ghoul, man. Oh yeah, ghoul, baby. <laughs> like, the show is really good. The scorched or the ferals don't get you. Well. I got one more episode to go. I think my review of episode 7 is airing in, in like an hour or something. But then I gotta watch episode 8 tonight. So I'll be finished with the show tonight and I'll have the episode out tomorrow. The review. Um, it's been a very fun ride. And I am very happy that uh, Fallout is getting attention because it is a great franchise.
And I hope that it will get more people over their fear of Bethesda games because Starfield's really good. We got the next Elder Scrolls coming up. I think it's the next one they're going to do, but it's still a little ways out. I pre ordered the uh, premium edition of Starfield, so I've got the uh, DLC coming at some point this year. I've already got that pre ordered. I can't wait. And I think, like, um, Akazar was here the other morning. We were talking about this. Um, he had a good idea of like doing a, doing another Starfield playthrough when the DLC comes around. And I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. Because I had made a soldier um, build that I was going to go take through the, uh, the colony missions. Because I, had, I didn't do that my first playthrough. And I think that'll be awesome to go do that and then roll right into the DLC. So at some point this year, we'll probably do a second playthrough of uh, Starfield, whenever the DLC comes out. There's no release date yet, so... Where's the next step? Those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. They're all just crazy. Mothman cultists. Building this place up is hard work. What is this? I haven't seen these before. Toxic suit flower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big old bowl of soup back at Big Bad. Deposit no, care package. Oh, never seems to end. Now return to Lane. Let's cook some food. Uh, yeah. Clean meat. It's too wet to be outside. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. But those raiders come so the around. food does different things. Okay. I get rad resists from that one. Simple soot flower tea. That gives me more AP. Um, that's nice, man. I think I'm gonna go with that. This is a better workout than trucking. This is a better workout than trucking. That line of dialogue was awesome. secret for Blue Ridge eyes only. That means don't leave this one lying around for any old passerbys to see. I, I think it's about time we get in with those responder folks in the oh. White Spring or Refuge, whatever they're calling it these days. It's, it's incredible to say, but somehow these people have managed to get tied in with all kinds of groups well outside of Appalachia. That's potential markets opening up that we aren't a part of all because of that vertebrate. We need to convince them that a partnership will benefit us both. Sell them on our experience of our infrastructure. Remember, they're the little guy and Let's change accents mid-read. We have a big head start in the trading business, and they aren't even all that interested yet. By getting in early, excuse me, we could nip a competitor in the bud. If you could do anything to butter them up, it would be beneficial in the long run. Maybe we can start by helping out that new outpost of theirs at the lumber mill. Just saying, stay safe out there. Look at me a rat poison. Woo! Hey there, traveler. Johnny Bills. What you got, brother? Mountain honey. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It has. Why does it have negative one intelligence? Oh, don't mind us. Just giving the Brahmin a break. Clean up the 
Let's fix that. Never seems to end. I'd stick to the roads if I was you. Oh, these are only worth like one. I'm not gonna sell stuff that's worth one. Everything's worth one. He's a cheap bastard. I don't need the whiskey. <laughs> You're looking greener than bloke fly piss. A little lost, are you? <laughs> bloke fly piss, man. All right. Did those waiters come snooping around? I'm never gonna drink the alcohol, so. Hey there. <laughs> You're looking greener than bloke fly piss. Alright. Back to lane. Sound is sound effects are really nice right now. It's just like a nice gentle rain as we're walking through here. I can dig it. like a brotherhood encampment maybe put my gun away don't want to startle anybody anyone who walked the whole length of the country just to get here has earned my attention Let's take a look at how we can mod our pistol if we even can. Are you buying this keep the peace idea these brotherhood types are putting down? The brotherhood needs good recruits like me. I don't really care about the range on that. Alright, that's interesting. Grip. Magazine. I would need nuclear material. Okay, so I can't. I don't have anything to like mod this at the moment. But at least I can if I need to. Um, cancel. I want to repair. Spec repair. Repair kit. Workbench repair. There we go. Spec repair, workbench repair, repair. Join up, defend yourself, and see the world while you're at it. Exit crafting station. Okay, is there an armor? Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead, modify, repair some. St Let's repair our gear. I think we should probably repair everything. Oh, the condition's not bad. Never mind. We're good. Switch to craft. Can I craft the? No, I need. What did I need for the? I needed gold. If this brotherhood wants order in the wasteland, then they have my vote. Ad victorium. I think that's what they say. Scorched the raiders, the ghouls. If anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. Greetings, civilian. You're an initiate. You're, you're all initiates. Is there any like captain Keep your hands here? off that vertebrate. I'm not Please. touching your vertebrate. I was gonna see if there's like a captain here or something. You're all like initiates. Ooh, can I eat the hot dog? 
It was worth the reds. Totally worth the reds, man. Actually, it... it uh, 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 hot dog sounds pretty good right now. I could totally go for a breakfast hot dog. I don't have any. I don't think there's anything here to do. Um, we're interacting. And it's just like dialogue. Alright. Nobody came up to me to talk to me, so... Not sure if I should be thrilled or terrified. Onwards we go. I don't see anything. Oh, uh, no, there's something there. Scavenger. You know, something I need to do is turn up the sensitivity a little bit here. Menu. Settings. Controls. Can you adjust the sensitivity? Yeah, here we go. Um, let's bump both of these up to here. Oh, that's much better. Settler. Can I fall or am I going to take damage from that distance? Ooh, I just saw a feral ghoul somewhere down in here. It's probably over there where my it's closer to the turn in. Can I just... fire to keep warm when the sun goes down. Okay. Jack Protectron works all night and also works all day. I'm love joking. I'm okay. I work all night and work all day. That's amazing. That is an amazing Easter egg. Oh my goodness. All hail the writers who put the Monty Python reference in the freaking Protector Cron. I'm sorry. I gotta take a second. Oh. Oh man. Protect and serve. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was great. Cheap human labor. <laughs> well, we have selves around here somewhere. All right, Lane. Here we go, brother. You're back. You delivered the package successfully. Well done. On behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Stay in the meantime, though. Here's your payment. Have a good day now. All right. We got a whole bunch of goodies. I completed a score. I leveled up. Did something called score. Rank one achieved. And I dinged, I think. A whole lot of shit just happened for that turn in. Very cool. Uh, safe haven. Go to our headquarters in the refuge. 
in the, the refuge. Old White Spring Resort. In the White Spring Our Resort. Job is never done. All right. He's out there chopping wood. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> we have to come together to survive. Oh, I know what the seven is going through. Waste acid aluminum scrap. Hello. Uh huh. Alright, what's next? Hard work pays off. Challenges. What is that? So there's dailies? Weeklies? So there will be one when I hit level 6 as an example. Okay. There's... Oh wow, so if you'd acquire disease... You get one for that. Brewing teas and drinks, so I'm working on those. Okay, okay. Remember, some of us still want what's best for Appalachia. Okay. So a lot of these have some, you know, big numbers behind them. That's cool though, it's like a... I remember when Lord of the Rings Online did this back in the day. There, were, there was a certain amount of progression that you could pursue per day, so they capped it so that you couldn't, like, blow it all out in, like, a week. But they had, back in the day, like, if you wanted to earn certain emotes, you had to do emotes, like, 10 a day or 15 a day or something. Um, and over time, you would unlock these other special emotes. Um, like, Fish Slap was a great one, you know? Um, that was an unlocked emote, if I remember correctly. Um, that you had to grind to get. So this this is really cool. I hadn't checked this out yet. Both those raiders know we mean them no harm. Lumberjack protectron does. Okay, so my score. I just dinged like the first rank of this. What is this? Go to season. Welcome to seasons. Rank up, earn tickets, and claim season rewards. Complete challenges to earn score and rank up. Earn tickets every time you rank up. Redeem tickets to claim rewards from the seasons menu. So yeah, this is what I just I just earned some tickets a minute ago. Okay. Um Complete challenges to rank up and earn tickets. Okay, blah 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 blah. Oh, this is the trial they're doing right now. Because they're totally I have like a free trial to try the first. Fallout first. Okay. Full out first or full out first season pass required to claim. Okay. So these are different things you can buy with your tickets. So I just earned 25 tickets. Okay. Perk card pack, you could buy that for five. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. How come this costs zero? Oh, because you're a, a subscriber. So even I could buy these. This is this is um is there another page? There's another page. Let's look at all the things. Um, paint job for your battle armor. Some posters, gold bullion. Some atoms. Those are like energy used for things, I think. Nuclear key card. Alright, I'm seeing if there's any like cosmetic stuff. I, I want to look now. Look at the ranks, though. You got to get pretty high up to get some of this stuff. A cremator? Is that like a... Dude, is that like a giant flamethrower called the cremator? <laughs> That's amazing. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Alright. Oh, hang on. No, go back. Go back. Go back. I'm totally spinning some points and some pack card packs. How do you rank up? Oh, you could purchase ranks with the tickets too. Oh, I see. You pr you purchase using 
energy or those atoms. Okay, I see how that works. Okay. Don't want to do that right now. But I can claim. Yes. Absolutely. What else we got in here? Oh, this is the trial that they're just offering. Which we're not going to do right now. That's that's information overload for me. Why does everyone still squabble all the time? We have to come together to survive. Exhausting. I would like to open them. June handles the supplies. If you're looking for provisions. Definitely want picklock. Lumberjack protectron works all night. And Crack shot. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna take another rank of charisma. Okay, we got lots of stuff to do here. Um, are you just checking on Chris? Somebody just ran in. Three plus lumberjack protectron equals desirable wood product. Take a break before heading back out into danger. Wonder. I'll smack this card out. Yeah. All right. Let's equip that. Not enough available points to equip a card for that special. Okay. So. Hang on. So you have a certain amount uh, that you can equip. I always hit the wrong button. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Alright, I want to... Um, where did it go? Lone Wanderer. I want to equip it. Not enough special points to equip a card for that special... What are special points? What does that mean? Don't let the wasteland get to you. Got that, but why won't it let me equip it? This is something I'm not familiar with in terms of the mechanics. Because I don't think it's explained that to me at all. Oh, I, I see what it means. I see what it means. I'm... Okay. So does that mean I need rank 4 charisma to use it? Because it's a, it's a 4 card, it means I need 4 charisma to use? I think that's what that means. Alright. Well, I guess we need another rank of charisma. We also need... Level 5 before I can use pick lock. Has no use for them. Yeah, we'll go ahead and equip this one. First aid's not a bad one. Okay. Runner. That's not bad. Gunslinger. Moving target. I'll scrap that one. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Scrap. Yes. 
Remember, some of us still want what's best for Appalachia. Um, no power armor. That's not that good. Primary directive. All three. Scrounger? Become Do it. Desirable wood products. Weren't we supposed to get a Blue Ridge Caravan route set up this way? No, we're good. Alright. Um, bodyguards. Gain plus six resistance to damage and energy for each Our teammate, work. including you. That's actually not bad. Um, we'll dispose of that one. Up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. All wood must be chopped. Yeah, I don't have... What can I do here? I need more levels to get that. Alright. All right. What's next? Lumberjack Protectron does not want to lose Lumberjack job to Jackie. <laughs> Lumberjacks are awesome, man. Oh, can I have a chunk of whatever this is? No, but I can cook. I don't know that I have anything to cook because I already cooked earlier. Yeah, this is what I made earlier. We'll do two more. All right. I could use a drink of something. Something, something. I need to find some clean water somewhere. Some more purified water. Hard work pays off. Okay, we got that taken care of. What quest do we have? Next to the wayward is the Overseer's Lumber Old Jack Camp. What's this other one? Dutch just gave me plans for a sign to build a camp. I don't want to do that one yet. Day. First contact. Search for traces of the Overseer in Flatwoods. Show on map. Alright. Primary directive. This is a safe All place, isn't it? Relatively uh, safe? I don't think anything's here. Now we're good. I am gonna use this as a moment to go grab a drink. Before we go furthering the adventure, I will be right back. Jack, protectron equals 
desirable wood product. Glad we got those bots up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. You're always welcome here. Uh, don't suppose you can set a broken leg? Ask him for a friend. Brush up on my first aid. Chop wood, chop wood, chop wood. I love being out here in the wilderness. It makes me feel so alive. Are you holding up? Why does everyone still squabble all the time? We have to come together to survive. June handles the supplies. You're looking for provisions. All right. I wish that Brotherhood would share what they learned with the rest of us. It could benefit so many. Brotherhood ain't gonna share shit with anybody. I like the version that they portrayed in the show for the Brotherhood. I'm very happy with that. Giving a quick scan of Discord to make sure I haven't missed any messages. Got a new round of recruits over the last 48 hours to our World of Warcraft guild, which is awesome. It's always great seeing new faces. We're about to have a lot of fun in the uh, the Pandaria remix that's coming here soon. I'll be starting to stream on Wednesday nights next week because the new season starts, season four, and I'm going to be taking one of my characters. We got a static group forming up to go do a Mythic Zero run. I think we have one spot left to fill. Unless, is Akazor coming? I can't remember if he confirmed or not. If he confirmed, then we're full. If you want to save Haven, go to our headquarters in the Refuge, in the old White Spring Resort. Protect and serve. I'll confirm today, because if we have a spot left open, I'll do one final call, because we got one more slot. I think I think we're full, but I need to go check all the messages, because I do too many things, <clears throat> and I forget shit all the time. On top of which, self-medication does not help. <laughs> oh! Who are you? I'm trying to figure out how Vats works here. At last, I ascend. So it's like a limited window lock-on. 
Final reward. Okay, it's a it's like a limited Okay, so I'm assuming there are abilities that you can get that extend that time in VATS. It's probably going to be what? Related to agility? I need to check that skill tree here in a minute. I'm not going to do it out in the wild, though, because I don't want to accidentally get attacked. Definitely going to want to make sure that I expand my VATS time at some point. It's like the... What is it called in Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't remember what it's called now. Dead Eye? I think it's called Dead Eye. Start small, but get it big, man. <laughs> that can be applied to many things. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Come on. view man that's that's a pretty cool view like like that's that's an impressive view Clouds are moving in that direction, or at least up on the on the top right of the screen. That's cool, man. We need a dragon to ride, says Pandavision. Oh, if I fall here, it's gonna be very bad. without falling to my death or breaking a leg or something. I'm getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Thorn bushes. You sound like a big old baby to me, crying about them thorn bushes. See what we got here. Anything interesting? A teddy bear. Ooh, a survivor story. Let's give it a listen. Just talk about how you got here, and maybe a little bit about your life. This is a historic document. Go ahead, Tabitha. Historic okay. document. Okay, okay, so, well, thanks. 
Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> I've been sober for nine days. Mm, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> the war, the bombs, I, I just... I just realized this was uh, <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the chems were playing tricks with my mind, hurting my brain. I thought it was the worst trip ever. So they literally spent years just doped up thinking that everything that was going down Every with the world was come out of my haze long enough to look for a hallucination. Find more cams and well, they kept going. And I kept seeing madness. Look, um I would have been wandering around fighting giant rats and eating garbage if not for the responders they're they're good folks that doc in the church um got me some meds that are helping out a lot and they have group therapy meetings and and it's good it's good i i i think it's helping but listen um you should avoid the mountains. Avoid the mountains. Mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. So that's a good environmental storytelling tip. I mean, there are so many chems up there. I spent too long there and I hurt people. So if you chose to go out there, you could probably find lots of chems if you need them. Okay, Tabitha. Remember what we said in the group? Take your addictol and rest, and things will be okay soon. It's okay. We're here for you. Yeah. I'm taking it. When I feel better, I'm going out west, though. Does it automatically yeah, take them getting when out, you getting listen away from to them? Cams, all of this. Because it's no longer on the table. I feel better every day, but of chems, years of rads, years of sleeping in the muck. It adds up. Oh, it does add up. I'm, I'm familiar. I'm gonna get back to sleep. Now. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Tabitha. What the hell? Get some sleep. You'll be okay. You're safe now. Is that thing gonna attack me? It was red like it was attacking. I don't know, man. I don't take chances with three-headed rabies animals, man. Wait, aren't possums immune to rabies? Well, maybe in the real world. I don't know about Fallout world. <laughs> there might be super rabies, man. Food water critical. Volunteers should donate potato soup and ribeye steaks. Run diagnostics. Steak must be cooked to medium rare only. <laughs> well done, steaks. May be deposited in the leather scrap box for armor usage. I am not I am not putting survivor mode on. <laughs> no. <laughs> not gonna fucking happen. God, everything is uh, broken here. Okay, 
mean, some of these are fixed. Just fix it when I get back, Miguel. All right, so I wonder how long it's been since anybody's been here. Um, new comfort cookbook recipes detected, uploading database. It says it has a hollow tape, but I don't know how to eject it. Volunteer training program. Oh, there it is. Interview two, Reverend Delbert Winters. Oh shit! I should have. Uh, hang on. Now I put it in my own. Okay, I need to re-listen to that. Hold up. Wait a minute. I screwed that up. Um, where's that gonna be? I've got one here, too. Interview 2, Reverend Delbert Winters. Hi, I met you in the woods near the Morgantown Airport. You were picking flowers. Why? Uh, I was, uh, harvesting a lot of stuff, actually. Does it kill the f Hang on, let me go back and listen to that again. Does it kill it when you loot something? Interview 2, Reverend Delbert Winters. Hi, I met you in the woods near the Morgantown Airport. You were picking flowers. Why? Uh, I was uh, harvesting a lot of stuff, actually. I, I hunted deer recently. Looked strange, but tasted fine. Hmm, okay. Well, what's a basic easy meal that someone who's been surviving on cans could make? Uh, you can make tea with dried flowers. It's not much, but it can soothe your stomach. I don't know what this flower is called, but I, I call it a soup flower. <laughs> if you add it water, you can make a tea. Same with rabbit meat or chicken meat. You can easily make soups with boiled water. God willing, we can adapt old recipes to new types of food. Well, what do you mean by that? Back in the army. We got sent off to places with weird fish I never heard of and weird veggies I'd never seen again. You know, we had to cook with them still. Just pretend it's catfish or something. You see how it turns out. <laughs> now, well... Let me say that I've seen some weird stuff. I thought maybe it was unholy, but these are all the creation of our Lord, even if man has manipulated them. And dang it, they're still edible. They're all food. It's We're all food to something. Oh, um, oh, okay. Well, uh, what kind of veggies do you eat? Yeah, there are still some edible veggies out there. Like melons, and carrots, and gourds. You know, I found some tomatoes and potatoes uh, growing. I do enjoy the uh, Louis C.K. bit on uh, humanity some being, I ate one and you know, humanity like having escaped the food chain. It's not entirely accurate, but it's a hilarious look at things. <laughs> hey, I'm alive. Because um, we have, have, for the most part, if you live like in the that. in the civilized no, parts of the world, keeps you alive those areas have escaped, times. or have managed Sounds to like exist outside of the while. the chain say that. I, I knew circle the of life right the fact that we're all meat for something else end, well, but if we didn't have in the end will come again if we were back I living in the tribal days the nomadic days and you were we go to Africa into the sub-sahara and, well, and try to go survive there as a human being survive. you know even with just Fair enough Thanks for the tips, you, you have to have weapons. You can't survive there without weapons. There are things that literally stalk and kill human beings. Like, you know, if the world were allowed to revert to its natural state, you know, we are still worm food for something. And at the very least, but lots of stuff wants to eat you, man. Lots of stuff. What what is it? I think it's the Phantom Menace when Qui Gon Jinn is like, "There's always a bigger fish," and it's like it's so, it's so true. 
There's always a bigger fish, baby. All right. Require skill one, your skill zero. All right. Oh, this one I can unlock. And I don't know why I just picked up that moldy food. That was stupid. Chris is making chili killers. Well, if this was his. Please let me out. Oh, he got stuck in there. Please. Please. Oh no, somebody chained it from the outside. Oh, that's that's fucking dark. Graveyard behind the church. I should have written all that down. My savings are in an old stump. A little bit off the right, I swear. Please, 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 please. Don't leave me here, please. I'm begging you, please. Alright. Graveyard behind the church. There's the church. Graveyard behind the church. I got some of the stuff, but not all the stuff. <laughs> it said something about stand on the rightmost grave. Which would be this one. And then something about the river those raiders come snooping around they're gonna regret it. and then halfway up the hill that was the part I got lost on the halfway up the hill part you don't look close enough you miss what harvest you're harvest Psycho buff, confessions of an addict. Well, this is it, I guess. Rock bottom, I think they call it. <laughs> I still miss him, Billy. I knew he was too young for me. <laughs> but it made me feel good. Old Billy, I really miss. The one who used to do nothing all day with me but listen to the radio and drink. Welcome aboard. I should have got out sooner. When I may have to go back and re listen to that tape because I lost the last part about it's coming across the river. No good, but that didn't stop me it anyway. was something halfway up the hill, but I didn't, I missed the part about the tree. I can't believe my wake up call was watching people's heads get. Stuck on spikes. There it is. So I found it. What is an old gal like me to do? I'm gonna let her steal finish. All the food, steal all the cams, and get the hell out of there. <laughs> I'd trade my last bite of food just to see the look on their faces. Oh, I know it's gonna piss off Billy's friends, but that looks good, man. That point of damn. view right now, at night from down in here. All right, let's listen to the next one. I tell myself oh, I should mind. feel sorry for the done. little town across the river, but if I'm being honest, then that's what this tape is for. Arr. I don't really care. I call myself an addict, but, um, it ain't the Kens that finally got me. It was always Billy.
some uh, some good writing, some very good voice acting going on here. Reminder to myself: the responders are good people. They're trying their damn best for sure. Things aren't good, and stuff is getting worse. Anyway, this is a reminder to myself. A reminder that this gun, it's my insurance. Things get real bad if the food runs out or the water runs dry. I get to decide how I leave this goddamn world. I'm not gonna let myself suffer. I'm not gonna die hungry and alone. I can't. Fair enough. If you've got the strength to take that option. Like, it would be a... Horrific. Like, there's something about um, when you're living on uh, any sort of like f big farming operation. Um, the natural world, sometimes, especially when you're raising like livestock and stuff, you just have to get used to seeing that sometimes <laughs> the world, the nature is a cruel beast sometimes. That food chain discussion from earlier. This place has a lot of potential. You soldier on. Um, anything worthwhile in here? Um, no. I'm gonna put some stuff in here though. I don't need. What do I not need? Do I have any... We can, put some, we can put some food in there. Let's put a couple cans of uh, Cajun rice and beans. I gotta say, uh, those uh, drop boxes are a pretty brilliant freaking idea. Um, I, got, I, I really, really, really like these. Um, that's a really cool part of Fallout 76. Like having these... Um, boxes that you can come get uh, it's just people can leave stuff there or you can leave stuff so it's like a nice little bartering thing without stressing about anything just dump stuff that you don't need that other people could use overseer's log town of flatwoods my god there's no one here the old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions mm. and its voice. Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. Okay. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should, too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Okay. Water safety report. Volunteer cannon at Colonel. Germ profile high. Recognized bacterial groups. Okay, a bunch of other stuff. Conclusion. Water is unsafe for drinking unless boiled thoroughly. Memo responders. The database is now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access it until things calm down again. I won't be able to use it. Excuse me. We will process your request. New patient metals. 
Everything hurts. So these people who came here and left. That's someone dying from radio sickness is what it sounded like. Oh wow. Yeah, the guy who showed up with broken toes yesterday just turned to me and said maybe I ate something bad and then died. This ain't my job, thanks. Oh wow. It's crazy. Volunteer responder program. Heard if you finish hang on. It's about rations. If you get access, you get a bunch of rations and rugged survival equipment, so I'm gonna do that. So they're telling you kind of this is what you'll get out of this if you go do it. There's a fight, heard about supplies, just here to trade really. The guy who just signed in took some supplies and left some other supplies in tray. Took most of the water and food, though. Said he was going to some asylum somewhere where we need it more. But he left us with some armor, so that was good. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of stuff. New patient, Dr. Vin. I've been eating nothing but Blamco mac and cheese, sugar bombs, and instant mash with Duca Colas for years. Lately, I've got the shakes. <laughs> That's not a good diet, man. Sending in some feedback on the robot. It's out of all its supplies. I've been grabbing supplies from nearby houses. Constant headaches. Got attacked by bugs. Now my head is killing me. Final comment from Dr. Vin. It seems like the responders. Hmm. <sighs> Should have communicated. Last night was not an easy night, everybody. Um, Pippin was a very bad kitty cat last night. Just did not want to sleep. She's finally sleeping right now, which means I'll probably take a nap here in a little bit. All right. Database where the responders are. We're going to go find them now. Flatwood Responder Services are currently offline. Please use the volunteer bot if you need assistance. Accessing database, access denied. Guest access accepted. Printing. Well, how do I pick it up? no way for me to take whatever was just printed so maybe it's just a visual thing okay I do know that there's a bed right there hang on my alarm has sounded somewhere realize it was seven o'clock um, patient chart buzz patient died research even retreatment okay all right there's that this town was really great nice mint that's mm, tasty Sure is great to see living human beings again. Good for you, buddy. Scrap all junk. Impacts, um, yeah, let's do it. D 
diagnostic terminal. Restricted responders. All right, we need to join the program apparently. Hi there. So there's a bunch of stuff we can gather on the way. And in here are the terminals to do the next part of this, uh, which we're going to do later. Um, my breakfast is almost ready. My alarm went off, which means it was 7 o'clock. I didn't realize it was 7, so I thought I still had another 30 minutes or so. I don't. Um, I got to go give Pippin all her medicine, clean her wounds, change her bandages. Uh, Chris is making chilequiles. Um... And then I gotta do a YouTube short and a TikTok video, and I'll probably take a nap. If I don't take a nap, I'll come back and do another Twitch stream, but I'm probably gonna take a nap, and then I will be back this afternoon with Fallout 4, multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Um, my door just opened, literally. No, I'm quitting right now. Um, so I'll see you guys this afternoon for some Fallout 4. Um, until then... Uh, I will be porting this over to YouTube for those of you who want to tune in live. Um, I'll be doing these in the mornings um, on Twitch. I was going to stream the Quarry, but because I'm also porting those to YouTube, all of the music is licensed, and YouTube was throwing a fit with the two videos that I uploaded from yesterday's playthrough of the Quarry. So as much as I want to play the Quarry on a live stream, I just can't because of the, the copyright flagging within the algorithm on YouTube because it's just those videos are just getting hammered and it's a process of hours and hours and hours to you know and you can't even filter out all the songs some of it wants to mute the audio completely from the video so I just that's not something I'm gonna be able to play as part of like a live stream session it is a great game though but um, we'll do some more Fallout 76 more Fallout 4 I also got um, this morning uh, I've got 15 keys to give away to the closed beta for um, Once Human. So I'll be probably, I did a, a video last week for that, and then this morning they got in touch. Um, so I'll probably be doing some sort of a Once Human stream or video in the near future. Um, so for those of you who are in Discord, stay tuned for that, because um, that's kind of a fun sci-fi survival crafting game for those who like that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll probably drop some keys in discord as well and me. definitely She's do another stream or something so stay tuned for that otherwise i'll see everybody this afternoon for some fallout 4.